People look at stories through different lenses. I have my own personal take on some of these trending issues. Hi, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to In Case You Missed It. Hello, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to another episode of In Case You Missed It on Sportsmax.tv. In today's episode, it's my pleasure to be chatting with St. Lucian sprinter Naomi London. Naomi secured a silver medal in the under-17 girls 100 meter during the 50th Carifta Games in the Bahamas in 11.72 seconds. This is the first ever sprint medal for St. Lucia. She also won silver in the 200 meters at the same event with a time of 23.72. Welcome, Naomi. How are you? Welcome. I am doing fantastic. Tell me a bit about where in St. Lucia are you from? I am from Bellevue Viewport, St. Lucia. How old are you? I am 16 years old. Right, and from the background, I can tell maybe you're at school. So tell us a bit about your school. <laughs> yes, I attend the Viva Comprehensive Secondary School. This school is very well warming and um, it's a very loved school. Yeah. Really nice. So it's always good to go to a school that you know you feel yes. like home. Uh, talk yeah. to me a bit now about your Carifta season that ended one month ago. Was it what you were hoping for? I mean, I went out there to get the gold, but God gave me the silver. So, <laughs> I mean, my season, well, my character season went pretty well. I executed my race as planned and I went out there to go on the podium. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to shoot for the stars. You spoke about wanting gold, but it was still a big deal because clinching St. Lucia's first ever silver medal. We have to remember you're also very young. How did it feel going up against some of the best in the Caribbean and placing second? Um, it felt great that, you know, I had some competition in the race. I mean, I was competing with one of the best and I pulled through with reaching on that podium to gain a silver medal. So right now I feel very great about myself. And when you got back home, back to St. Lucia, and St. Lucia is very pretty. I had the opportunity to visit and of course I love it. What was the reception like when you got home? Oh my gosh. Um, um, a lot, a lot of celebration happened. I mean, when I got home, it was everybody was around and just cheering Naomi London, Naomi London. It was just a bunch of support. I mean, I love the fact that, you know, my community supports me no matter what I do. So you've tasted, you know, that feeling when you win. What would it mean to you to be able to go at an event and bring back gold for your country? It would be a life changer for me and for my country as well. I mean, a gold is many, many <laughs> than silver. Um, having a gold on my neck would be the dream chaser. <laughs> yeah, tell me a bit about your coach and how is it working with that coach? Um, my coach is a very hardworking man. I mean, he's been through my ups and downs. Um, he's let's say my support system my number one support system so he trains me he gives me very um motivational um words every time i feel down so i can say he's one of the best best coach i've ever experienced you have to tell me his name and also what does a day in training look like for you with coach <laughs> um my coach name is claude Chalmine. one of my training days would look like uh, let's say very hard but exhausting but manageable yeah yeah what I find impressive about you is that you go to school you do track you're doing well at both how are you able to create that balance because many youngsters I know it's either they focus on school or they have a sport that they like how are you managing this balance um, I prioritize my work and I do have time management so 
After I come from training, I will sacrifice the time to go study or do an assignment. I mean, you can balance it off just with time management. Yeah. Yeah. Any goals that you've set for yourself, let's just say for this year? Yes. Um, one of my goals is to medal at the Commonwealth Games this year. And one of and my second goal right now is to PB at any meet that I attend. All right. Well, I will definitely be looking forward to see you do that. Of course, get that PB, PB, get that Commonwealth gold medal. And of course, I know you want to bring gold home to St. Lucia. The rest of the Caribbean is definitely supporting you. When next can we see you in action? When will you be competing? Um, like I said, I'll be competing in the Commonwealth Games in August. Okay, so nothing before that, just to be clear. No yes. mini events, nothing. No, it's in Trinidad. Oh, wow. I'm from Trinidad. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So I want to talk about Julian Alfred, the biggest track star to come out of St. Lucia. Has she been an inspiration for you? Have you ever interacted with her? Oh, yes. I have interacted with her. Um, Julian Alfred is one of my inspiration from since young. Yeah. I mean, me and Julian Alfred grew up in the same field, in track and field. She used to run in the um, higher division. I used to always look out for her. So day and days, I used to talk to her, you know, talk about the races. And I'm very proud for all her achievements right now. Yeah. Is track becoming more popular in St. Lucia? And how do you feel about that? Um, I would say our success, I mean, all the office out there right now from St. Lucia is actually making the young sprinters or track and field athletes um, want to do more and want to go out there to represent the country. Um, I think that track is one of a great sport and I think that um, St. Lucia has a lot of talent and we can go out there and do our best and put our country on the map. All right, Naomi, well, you're a beautiful young lady. Of course, I know you are in school, so I don't want to keep you away from classes for too long. I want to thank you so much. Of course, I'm wishing you best of luck when you head to my home country, Trinidad and Tobago, and I'll be looking out for that gold medal. We'll talk again soon. Yes, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, take care. Well, viewers, that's it from us for today. Be sure to like, share and comment. Let me know what you thought about today's interview with Naomi London. Goodbye for now.